If you're going to sum up what the Lakers have done so far in free agency, you could use one word. Whiff. LaMarcus, LaMarcus Aldridge, no. DeAndre Jordan, doesn't look like he's going to be uh, going there either. Kevin Love, nope. DeMarcus Cousins may be being traded. No, at least not yet. You get D'Angelo Russell, and maybe the Lakers just assumed, we're the Lakers, this is a destination, we're going to get our big man. And they still may get Greg Monroe, who, granted, is not Kevin Love or LaMarcus Aldridge. That's not big headlines in Los Angeles. But if the Lakers are going to sit down with these free agents, what are they selling? Weather? The View? Hollywood? Jack Nicholson? Playing with Kobe his last year? You got a point guard in D'Angelo? What are you selling? Because other teams seem to be selling better. And maybe we go back to, well, New York or L.A. is where you want to be. Really? Who's going to the Knicks? Aaron Afalo? Okay. Aaron, okay. Now who else is going there? Who's going to L.A.? Who's going to the Lakers? Paul Pierce goes to the Clippers. Well, he's going back home, and they gave him a three-year deal. But who's going to the Lakers? And there has been discussion about the Lakers' lack of analytics. LaMarcus Aldridge sort of wanted to know, all right, how do I fit in here? Kobe said, hey, I'm going to treat you like I did Pau Gasol. We'll play that way. I, I don't see LaMarcus Aldridge as a Pau Gasol-type player. but And I'm not going to blame this on Kobe. This has to be a Lakers presentation. But something happened, or something didn't happen. Because if you're all in, and by the way, these insiders, you guys got to get on the same page. Because it went from uh, uh, hearing from somebody in the meeting, it went really well with LaMarcus Aldridge. Two hours later, it uh, didn't go well at all. Uh, he's ruled out the Lakers. What? Wait, what happened? In the, the two hours? In between, I, I'm hearing it went really well to uh, he's crossed the Lakers off his list. Phoenix is now slipped in here, folks, quietly. They got Tyson Chandler. Um, they need some presence, some inside scoring. Phoenix is late to the game, but still in the game. It feels like it's San Antonio's to lose right now with LaMarcus Aldridge. And they, so LaMarcus Aldridge goes to San Antonio yesterday. He gets there. Tim Duncan's there. Kawhi Leonard's there. Uh, Danny Green just signed, which they got a great bargain with Danny Green. Kawhi Leonard's already signed up. Tim's coming back for at least one more year. You got Tony Parker, still a very good point guard. Maybe you get Ginobili for a final year. But you have the Spurs organization, which is the best organization probably in all the sports in the last 20 years. Got Greg Popovich there. If you're LaMarcus Aldridge. What do you want? You get to go back. He's from Texas. And the presentation was better than everybody else. So LaMarcus Aldridge, and granted, he's going to be turning 30, or maybe he is 30. You're not building around him. But if he knows that he's got Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green there, that's, that's the next generation of the Spurs. That's, that's a pretty good start there. There's the unknown with the Lakers. Are you going in there? I, I want to know what happens when Kobe leaves, if team, if players start saying, now I want to go to L.A., but I think this is bigger than Kobe. It's, you know, a new way of doing basketball in an old way.